Yo, I get it. I get it. I'm on my way. I'm just trying to, you know, finish my last kind regards. I mean, you are expensive, by the way. But yeah, I'll see you just now. I'm just finishing off a couple of things, sending off the last few emails, and then out of office. But I hope you have everything sorted. The nines, check. The bungalow, check. Clifton Beach, maybe, not sure about that, what else, Grand Africa Cafe, but I don't know, I guess we'll see when I get there, but right now, I'm almost done, so please don't rush me, I mean, you are expensive, I have to be making those coins, okay, but yeah, catch you on the flip side, bye. <laughs>
Never again. Uh, 11.50. Mm. Right, let me hit you. Okay, let's go. Yes, we are stuck in the beach. Juliana, I'm your waitress. Are you ready to order? Yes. Okay. I'll have Alabama chicken. You want? Alabama chicken. Alabama. With chips or salad or sweet potato? With chips, please. With chips. Thank you. Bring them up. Oranges. Oranges. Oh, my God. How oh, done your egg? Uh, medium. Medium. Well done, sir. So. Medium. 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 Look at the views, guys. Look at the views. We are currently at the Duke apartment. And we're here for Mother's 60th birthday. Woo! Where is she? Where is she? Is that 60? No. That can't be 60. Glammy, glammy. <laughs> we have arrived. We arrived at, I think, at 2. And now we're going to the Sky High Ride. I'll show you guys an apartment tour soon. But we are Matasatasa. We will check you after Sky High Ride. Dushi. Mother. Hello. Hello, hello. What are we doing to be now, actually? We are so late. Hmm? We are so late for our what? Sky High Ride. Yes. Hello, I was on that TikTok. I used it for my hair. That's fun. Um. That one. Yeah, 
A mess, a mess, a mess. Wow. Yes. We were up there. Mother, y'all. How was that? Yeah, just nice. She went it wasn't, twice, it guys. Wasn't that scary. And she doesn't want to go on the Tower of Terror. Mm -hmm. But this, 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 no mess, this. Wow. Yeah. Cape Town is beautiful today. things you do.
what it do people okay so we're at the juke beautiful place beautiful place okay beautiful the only issue about this area is that there's no parking uh, there is part yes like mother said there is parking downstairs by like in front of reception and behind the building the only issue is wherever you park you basically have to pay 120 for the day 40 oh 140 for the day that's my issue and the juke is so beautiful but like around it is very dodge um there are unfinished renovations unfinished buildings unfinished you name it it's just dirty like around the hotel is it a hotel Slash hotel slash B and B. Slash hotel slash B and B. But like once you go into reception, get into the elevator, get to your floor before even getting into your apartment, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But there are issues with the surroundings of this area it's a good thing though that we have a very busy weekend ahead even if it wasn't a busy weekend like right now we're chilling we're watching housewives it's nice it's so nice but yeah guys and I can't... again there's nothing wrong the only issue is the guy we found at the reception. Yes. He didn't welcome us until he knew that we've put that is when he started to want to be nice. But unfortunately, we only thought about his attitude when we arrived here. Even his colleague could see that we had just bought. He apologized on his behalf. And the time he wanted to warm up, we didn't even want to talk to him. Well, mother didn't want to talk to him. He came with attitude, but at some point he did warm up. Um, Cause the moment I arrived, he didn't even greet me. He's just like, yeah. I'm like, uh, I'm staying at one of these apartments upstairs i booked an airbnb oh okay name surname everything details and then after giving him my details then he warmed up to me made a joke because i was alone at that time and he was like oh i thought you were traveling with another person is this the guy so he was talking about his colleague making a joke like oh so you're taking your colleague but yeah also he wasn't very yeah. The, the other problem is that I think he can't speak our language. I think that is the problem. So you see, when a person has a challenge, they just want to to be rude so that if you didn't ask him so many questions. Yes. I could see that language barrier is the main problem. Yes. So we know that people like him. Yes. Uh, let's just say he's not from this country. There's nothing wrong with that, but we just couldn't hear his language. Well, he did. He speaks English, but we couldn't really hear him clearly. But other than that, I love the place. It's very 
classy it's very clean it's aesthetic aesthetically it's pleasing it's welcoming yes it's welcoming <laughs> they gave us this it's very welcoming they have everything they have a mikuwabi they have a stove not just any stove a smeg stove a dishwasher my husband never used dishwashers they have a fridge a freezer they have a washing machine somewhere in the cupboards and then a nice shower nice toilets oh, everything is fancy yeah. oh iron yes board. iron ironing board a uh, hair dryer i brought mine just in case but there is a hair dryer which is awesome 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 but yeah guys tomorrow we go big and we'll go bigger the next day but tomorrow is table mountain and the grand cafe africa beach lounge dun dun. we will see you tomorrow bye hey guys don't mind me so i am at the duke apartment i just want to show you guys the tour of this place so after getting off of the elevators you get to level nine and this is the area that we're staying at 909 and here is the beautiful mirror that is just outside our apartment and then boom hello how pretty is that so here is our beautiful apartment here's the kitchen okay i hope you guys can see the kitchen there so this kitchen comes with a fridge and then a dishwasher, a stove, smeg, guys, smeg, smeg, a toaster, kettle, mikuwabi, and then the spices and tea, coffee, sugar that comes with it. We went shopping at Pick and Pay to get these. Uh, this is what comes with the apartment and then inside the cupboards what's in here oh this is cutlery and then it comes with plates uh, bowls mugs and then a oh, chopping board <laughs> that's cool a uh, chopping board and those tray thing not tray but yeah you know what I mean and then pots a pan a serving dish I think yeah yeah the spices okay well salt pepper oil and then what's in here oh, nothing what's in here okay cleaning stuff and then dishwashing liquid cleaning things that's cool and then in here is the champagne glasses your whiskey glasses and your juice glasses a serving dish there another mug there and then washing machine and your bin yeah wait is that a mop oh a broom and then here is the area TV area look at that beautiful view this is my favorite area where I get to see the beautiful view. Guys, there's Wi-Fi here. Free Wi-Fi. 
And once you're sitting there, you get to see Table Mountain. Look at the beautiful view. And then the bedroom. So it's separated by those glass. The living room area and the bedroom. And then you wake up to this. Which is awesome. The only disadvantage is that you wake up to this traffic and the noise and hooting cars. And yeah. So an issue about this area is that you basically have to pay for parking, which is 140 per day. And yeah, the the hotel building apartment that we're at does not have uh, free parking. So that's an issue. And then here is the cupboard area where we store our things. So this apartment came with the iron, an iron and hair dryer and blankets some hiding somewhere there <laughs> and then an ironing board and hangers and then there's a hidden mirror over there and then the rest is ours yeah no guys we packed as if we're going to gonna what did the lady say we were going to bangkok are we coming from bangkok <laughs> so yeah and then there's beautiful art on the wall and then to top it off is this beautiful bathroom which is aesthetically pleasing nice toilet big pool basin and the round mirror and then there's a shower. Yo, that is the, the awesome bathroom, but the whole apartment is awesome. This is the bedroom, the living room area. This is what we booked for and I would say I'm very happy, no doubts about that, very happy with this area. Yeah guys, if you want a nice fancy area, this is the place to be, the only issue is parking, so yeah. Another issue is that you don't wake up to like tranquility because of the noise outside, but the view is to die for. So we will catch you later. And we cannot escape, we cannot come out. Mama! Attention ladies and gentlemen, please note that Table Mountain is a national park and it's part of a World Heritage Site. We kindly ask you to please respect the environment by placing your litter in the bins provided. Stick to the demarcated pathways as it's there for your own safety. Smoking is only allowed at the 12 Apostle Terrace and nowhere else on the mountain. We're now reaching the heights of 1,067 meters above sea level, approximately 3,500 feet. To those of you afraid of heights, Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Your exit guys will be on the left hand side facing the main building. The tickets you purchase, please keep it safe. You will be needing those tickets to be scanned out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
The view! <laughs> city
crazy. <laughs> Grand Beach, baby.
Dodge it looks. And then there's the juke. If this was Joburg, yeah. This camera would have been gone a long time ago.
I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, so today we went to the. Where did we go? Oh, we went to Table Mountain first at around one o'clock. I think we were there for two hours because by the time we came back, it was four. Yeah, it was four. And we were already rushing to get to Grand Africa Cafe. And then Grand Africa. Oh, okay. Table Mountain was amazing. And then, and then we went to Grand Africa Cafe, also great, but it got really cold. I think we spent an hour there. We got there at six o'clock and now it is, it is, it is, why isn't my watch working? Is my watch off? I'm just looking at the time. That's so weird, it's not charging. Okay, it's nine. I think we got here an hour ago. So we probably spent two hours at Grand Africa Cafe. It was nice, but then it got cold, so yeah. Okay, here's a pressing matter that is annoying me. This apartment is beautiful, like I said. My only issue is that it's not a vacation type of apartment. Because every time we left um, the apartment, every time we got to the elevator, we always found a couple there and not and you you can tell these people aren't dating because it was a whorehouse you can tell and then yeah i don't want to say what it is but it is a whorehouse yeah, I don't want to say, but half the time, actually not half, most of the time we went to the elevator, there was always a couple that was discussing the rooms, how everything's going to get sorted out, da, 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 da. and at some point it got awkward when we were in the elevator ride, on the elevator ride. Y'all... I wouldn't recommend the juke for a staycation, vacation type of place. It's a beautiful apartment, no doubt, but it's not for vacations for other things. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I didn't like about this place. What I don't like about this place. But... It's a good thing that this vacation has a lot of activities planned and that's why I'm not worried about the stay. But most of the time I like to stay at a place where you want to frequent around that place most of the time. But yeah. But anywho tomorrow is so tomorrow we have a lot to do we have atlantis june and then the mirage catamaran and then the bungalow to top it all off and then yeah then we'll see what's next but the weather's been great i'm happy the pictures came out amazing we'll see you tomorrow